ask as far as the MLS data, um, what percentage is that? Because I'm noticing like it's it's not all MLS, is it? No, no, it's not. No. So I would say on a nationwide level, we have about 93% coverage. There's about like 700 odd MLS boards nationwide, and we probably have a good 715 of them, uh, like 780 or something like that. But no, you're right. This is not like the MLS. What we do is we extract data from the MLS and then put it in our system. But you are going to catch things that we don't have that other providers have and vice versa. Like even without PropStream, like Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com, they don't have the same listings, right? That's why like till this very day, I'm wondering, like, why are there even three of those websites if everybody has the same listings? And you realize no one has the same listings. And the reason for that is as an agent, you get to decide where your listing gets shown up in, right? And there's three outlets in which you can process your listing. It's IDX, RETS, and VALS. So if an agent gets a listing and they put it through IDX, IDX puts it on everybody's website, Zillow, Redfin, Realtor, PropStream. But then ultimately the agent can say, you know what, I don't want it on PropStream. I don't want it on Redfin, but Realtor, you're good to go. You can have my listing. So that's why you're not gonna see 100% in PropStream or on Redfin or on Zillow or any of these guys. That's why we all exist is because it's just the relationship building is that we have stronger listings in certain areas that Zillow may not have and then vice versa. They might have a stronger listing in certain markets that we don't have because agents per know Zillow more than they know PropStream. So that's the answer right there. But great, great question. Yeah, we don't have everything. I'll be the first to say we're not live data. So if someone were to list their property this morning on the MLS, you're not gonna see it in PropStream. And we don't have everything. There are some agents that pocket their listings sometimes and they just don't want to have anybody see anything. So that's where you're gonna see. Good and point. so, yeah, could something be off market but really be on market? Yes, that could happen in our system, which is why we give you 10,000 records because it's a numbers game and that's gonna happen.